This short piece of film is of the foray of the local community digital snapshot project and its attempt to film the folly. Unfortunately, the weather was quite unkind on that day and prematurely brought things to a close. The Folly Tower is a prominent local landmark above the A4042 Pontypool to Abergavenny Road. Built around 1765 to 1770 by John Hanbury, a local landowner and iron master who owned Pontypool Park as a family summer house, the original tower had neither roof nor floor. It was rebuilt and restored around 1831 by Capel Hambry Lee. It provided a very fine viewpoint and quickly became widely popular and well-known feature of the county. The tower was falling into disrepair during the late 1930s Though in 1935, nearly 20,000 people gathered at the Folly to celebrate the Silver Jubilee of King George V with a bonfire. On the 9th of July 1940, the Ministry of Defence ordered that, as a security measure under the Emergency Powers Defence Act 1939, the folly be demolished. This was in the mistaken belief that its presence would be a landmark for the Luftwaffe seeking to raid the nearby Royal Ordnance Factory at Glasgow to the east beyond Little Mill. After the war in 1946, and again in 1948, campaigns started to collect funds and donations to rebuild the Folly Tower, but these were unsuccessful, due mainly, it is thought, because priority was given to house building in the local area. After the war in 1946, and again in 1948, campaigns started to collect funds and donations to rebuild the Folly Tower, but these were unsuccessful, due mainly, it is thought, because priority was given to house building in the local area. During 1990, a number of local historians and conservationists decided it was time to restore the Folly Tower to its former glory, and a committee was set up to canvass various funding bodies as well as open negotiations with the National Park Authority. The creation of the campaign for the reconstruction of the Folly Tower, known as Croft, then achieved sufficient backing that the required £60,000 was raised to build the park. It was officially reopened by His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales on the 22nd of July 1994. From the top it is said that on clear days six counties can be seen. Monmouthshire, the Morgan, Herefordshire, Worcestershire, Gloucestershire and Somerset. Even on unclear days, the recovery of the verdant wood and grassland from former local industrial despoilation is striking. <laughs>